God. Some of you actually believe that the white man is God. I want you guys to understand, some of you all have said that if Minister Farrakhan wasn't a real, if, if he was a real threat, that they, they would have killed him. You, you guys believe that the white man is God. You are sick, twisted, you know what? If at every turn, you believe that there's not a greater force than the black man or the black woman who can outthink and outmaneuver and out warfare your enemy. So black to me, you think the white man is God. You sit up here and say that if they don't kill off all of our black leaders, you're saying that the white man is so omniscient, so omnipresent, so omnipotent, that if they don't get every single one of our black leaders, that they're not real. What's wrong with you, you slave? You worshiper of the white man, you sick, twisted enemy. I can't st stand no scared to death Negroes. Do you all understand that it's written? I'm talking about prophetically written. That God said it was only going to be after 400 years that he was going to hold accountable the nation that came against his chosen people. What's wrong with you? God is just getting started. The ancestors are just getting started. It looked like that the children of Israel, of course, when I'm talking about the children of Israel, that's a prophetic story because we're the ones. The Bible speaks an algorithm. There's no people that fits the description of being in bondage for hundreds of years. We're the only ones, black family, that fits that description. That shouldn't scare you. Because that Charleston Heston movie with white people in it is a lie. That's called identity theft. We're the only people that fits that description. Don't get scared because I'm telling you those people didn't exist until now. You're winning slowness. That's good news for you. That means the book is a sacred secret book that speaks in code and I'm decoding it for your funny looking self. That shouldn't scare you. That should empower you. You worshiping the white man is God. And you try to scare your black brothers and sisters that stand on the front line. And instead of you, you ought to be scared. No, instead of you saying, instead of you putting the money up so they can have security. Instead of you making sure that they got more than enough money to have a legal retainer so that they can have the proper attorney and all of the professional experts so they can do their work in peace. Instead of you working on the solution, you sit there and tell everybody to be scared and stand down. You better get your scary, funny looking self away from me. You scared the deaf Negroes. When you understand the story about Gideon, Gideon had 30 some thousand soldiers in the beginning. The most high got rid of all of them except for 300. And they were already outmatched almost 10 to 1. And Spirit said, I'm going to conquer by the 300. The first group they got rid of was those who were afraid. Because fear is the real pandemic. Fear is contagious. Fear is deadly. Fear is debilitating. And some of you brothers in particular who are supposed to be providers and protectors in this war in particular, some of you are scared to death. That's why a lot of you make every excuse in the world before you take proper action to protect righteously. I said righteously, not, not recklessly. Y'all know I don't do reckless talk. But you are not willing to stand up for your woman and your children because you're scared to death. But I've explained to you that the stuff that they put in the media, the stuff that they put in your educational for, uh, for, uh, 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 institutions, the stuff that they put in your family, the stuff that they broadcast, the stuff they put in the air and the stuff that they put in your food and that weed that they give you and all them legalized drugs that you happy to have now. They do that on purpose to make you docile and weak. And to make you afraid. So that's the reason why I told you to do two things. Train and plan. Train and plan. I'm not making fun of you, brothers. I'm trying to explain to you why you are scared to death like you are. And how that's against your original nature. 
Being a masculine man doesn't mean you're violent in a reckless way. First, you've got to be intelligent, baby. You're not getting brownie points because you can fight physically only. If you're scared, you need to plan and you need to train. I'm going to keep saying it. If you're scared, and even if you're not, you need to train and train and you need to plan. Brothers, you need to plan and you need to train. That helps you to overcome fear. Plan, train, and then three, get around other black masculine men who are fearless. Because that energy will eventually get on you. Be careful to who and what you're listening to. Why am I saying train? Why am I saying plan? Because how many of you all know that you build muscle memory when you train? How many of you know that you build physical muscle memory and there's a type of spiritual muscle memory that you build when you train? Why? That's a principle that I teach called the matter of MacArthur. You got to join club Vicky.com to get that principle. Spirit gave me that revelation many years ago. The reason you train and you build spiritual and physical muscle memories, brothers, is because when something pops off, the moment difficulty, tragedy, or something like that hits, your muscle memory will kick in and it will override any fear or hesitancy. And it ensures success. That's why you train. If you're scared, and I'm telling you, your open enemy put stuff in your water, in your food, in your family, in your media, and in the educational. Some of you that's scared to death, that's intentional. But I'm giving you the solution for that. Get around other black masculine men. Fearless. Train and plan. Train economically. Train educationally. Train physically. And even if you get jitters, brothers, even if you get nervous when you got to make a decision on behalf of your family, don't you know that your woman, I got chills. Don't you know that your woman will bow to you if you still do it afraid, knowing that you're doing the right things intelligently with wisdom and with the protection and the defense of your family and your legacy. She will still have mad respect for you because you're still moving forward. You ain't got to ram down her throat why you important and what a man you are. She'll pick up your frequency. And because you're ignorant of energy and because you're in ignorant of spirituality, you think that you're going to dictate to a woman how to be feminine. <laughs> Card today when all you need to do is be a man because you're operating based on a frequency. And when you're operating at the height of your manhood, it messes with the feminine environment and reshapes her. I don't need to hear your mouth. I don't need you telling me what to do. You need to be a man in every sense of the word, whether you get credit for it or not whether she seems to notice it or not. Some of you say, well, I did the right thing for two weeks. Let me help you, brothers. You got to do the right thing long enough. Let me say it again. You've got to do the right thing 
long enough. Let me say it again. You've got to do the right thing long enough. When you frequent something, I'm giving y'all mastermind secrets. You better join clubvicky.com for a dollar while you can because I'm getting ready to shape up, change everything with my spiritual programs. Vicky Planet is coming to the world and so is Vicky University, Vicky Mall, and Vicky Vicky, 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 V